Fortunately or unfortunately, I can't say this clip is just for juniors or newcomers. Even if you are a senior, you might uh, be faced such things and you should be able to answer these type of questions in job interviews. This is one of the common interview questions that you might face. The number of occurrence of a character in a long string. Let me explain. See? The question would be something like this. Write a method to print count of the occurrence of each character in the console. Okay? What does this mean? Pay attention. First of all, you should understand the question. See? I will explain by an example. This is a string. This is a sample string. My name is Ali. Okay? M. One. Two. Two times. Y. Just one time. N. Just one time. A. Two times. E. One time. L. One time. I. One time. S one time. Okay? So, now we know the concept. We know the question. This is most important part of answering interview questions, tasks, these things. You should understand the question by mimicking it inside a real scenario like this. So, in notepad or on a piece of paper, try to do something like this at first. Then, the name of the method. You are supposed to write a method. So, choose a name. A meaningful name. Characters can't. No need to explain everything inside your method name. Do not say, for example, the number of occurrence of the characters. No, it's bad. Just something like this. Maybe you can uh, offer me something better. Or when you start thinking, you find something even better. I have chosen this name. The return type. Method should have a return type. For this, it should be void. Why? Why it should be void? See? Because it said print. If it said return, then it should not be void. So pay attention. That's why I have made it red. If they said or if they ask to return, then it should not be void. So pay attention to these things. Then the input parameter. It is a simple string. The name, again, should be meaningful like this. Input a string. Okay? I will jump to Visual Studio. And we'll try to just answer, I mean to write the answer, write a method for this problem. But in a bad way at first. Something that works, but if you do that, you might be failed. Maybe, but let's see. Okay. I have written this method. Characters count bad way. Okay? As I explained, the input parameter is input string. 
in the first impression if you are a senior and you are supposed to judge this method you might say um okay somebody asks you to judge this method to judge the way of coding for this method you say um for such easy question for such easy uh, asking or problem it's a little bit long yeah it's so long why in the second why there is so many for loop and iterations to do what it can be better okay okay let's see let's see first of all this one making everything zero in character counts okay in the second another loop we gonna judge and if the character is repeated we are going to add to the numerator to know how many times it is repeated and in another loop we can print because the question said print okay so by a simple console right line we gonna print um okay let's see something like this my name is ali okay let's run I did C A I M something like this so it works fine but if you answered this question or if you solve this problem by this way and you happily close the I don't know C sharp fiddle something and said I did it I am waiting for a good news from the company. I can tell you, don't wait. You might be failed. Why? Okay, I will show you. C Sharp has so many features. Why should you solve this problem in traditional Pascal way? when we were young and we were supposed to solve problems in pascal for example pascal programming language we had to go for such ways but nowadays no one is asking you to follow this way there are better ways let me show you you already have seen this page of my presentation so let's go ahead see there is something at heart of c sharp which calls dictionary like this dictionary is consist of some parts for this issue i have chosen a character and an integer so for each character i can store the times that it is repeated inside my string so for something like this my name is ali i have created a character count dictionary and then said m two times y one time like this okay so first time that we meet the character add it to the dictionary and the int value should be one like this if it was the first time if it wasn't the first time increase the number instead of storing one increase the number so now i want to jump to visual studio again 
and solve this problem by a dictionary with less loop, less iteration, and shorter code. How? Let's see. So I will comment this line out. This guy region bad way like this end region bye bye I'm coming here look at this the real name character can't a string input a string this is my famous dictionary that I already talked about okay for a for each loop var character in input string okay if character is nothing this means if it is not nothing it is not empty then come here if the character is not already in the dictionary okay then add it to the dictionary as i explained with one the number should be one if it was already inside the dictionary add to the counter one more increase the counter means this integer okay and then print it out in the console like this so it's shorter we have used a dictionary so we have shown the interviewer that we know about these things we have less iteration and things are more professional so how can i use this very easy see like this if i run i will get the same result see so as you can see if we use our brain a little bit things can be nicer especially in the job interviews or when you get an assignment to do and send back to the companies try to use more professional c sharp features like this one more thing if you want to be better a little bit you can do something like this also see instead of a normal for each statement you can do something like this see as i said if you want to show your power or c sharp programming power having something like this would be much nicer but you will get the same result without any problem that's all at the moment thank you so much and continue learning